So there is a nation in Africa that has Prussian government, top tier military ideas, and is located in one of the best trade nodes in the entire game. If you are already interested, please watch this video till the end. Let's start with giving out privileges. I'll give money privileges, loyalty privileges, advisor cost privileges, and I live on slot 3 so I can take burger loans whenever I want. Now let's build spy network on Kilwa. And also let's choose our cult. Of course I'll choose discipline one. Now let's hire two mercenary companies. I'm pretty rich so I can afford it. Also let's make my IR a general. Oh yeah. That's pretty nasty event, but I'm not planning to play as Mutapa, so I'll ignore it for now. Okay, now let's fabricate on Sofala and declare on them. Technically they're more advanced than me, but I have more cannon fodder, and that saved me. Again, the true king of the battle is cannon fodder. Well, I guess I would be in trouble if I don't piss out right now. Unfortunately, I couldn't fully next Kilva, but I'll do it later. I declared on Kilva because Sofala has Guni culture. And it's the main culture of Zulu. So now I need to culture convert some provinces and I can spawn Zulu rebels. Let's impress feudalism. So finally I don't have to rely on cannon fodder. So I finally change culture in this province. And now let me show you how to spawn Zulu rebels. There are a few ways actually. First way is to unstead your provinces, grant one to Butoa, then take it away. Then there will be no course and then Zulu separatists will spawn there. And there is also a second way, so you may sell province to another nation and then just take it away in the war. I would gladly do it, of course, but unfortunately I forgot that Maravi is my rival. Let's hire mercenaries and declare on Kilwa. Yeah, this war is going pretty well. I have decided that it's better to leave Kilwa on province because I'm just sick of chasing any mistakes across half of the Africa. By the way, culture in Masapa is finally Nguni, so what I'll do? I'll unstate it. Then I'll give it to my vessel, Grand Province, this land, and as you can see, instead of noble rebels, there will be Zulu separatists. So now I can provoke Zulu separatists, let's do it. Now I just need to let them siege, and as you can see, they made Masapa Zulu core. So now I can finally release Zulu vessel, let's do it. Now I just need to wait until our truce ends, and I'll feed it my provinces. I've decided to dev renaissance, let's do it. So I finally spawned renaissance, and now I just need to wait until I can annex Zulu. So I finally can annex Zulu, but I want to feed it before doing it. So how would I do it? I'll start annexing it, and when it almost gets to 100%, I'll feed it one province. Also please note that I'm feeding them full course, not territorial course, but full ones. As you can see, it works because their liberty desire is pretty small. Zumba is my most developed province, so before giving it over to Zulu, I'll take some loans. So I won't go bankrupt. So finally, so now let's release and play as Zulu. And here it is. I don't know why, I don't know how, the only thing that I know is that it's literally Prussian government. It's literally the same. So now I just need to wait for 5 years because I still have truce with Mutapa. I don't know why, but for some reason I've got defensive ideas as first group. I propose to get exploration ideas as first ones. Of course quality ideas have better synergy with my ideas, but unfortunately I need to colonize Cape of Good Hope before Europeans arrive, and I don't have mission to establish frontier there like Mutapa does. Now let's get our independence. It should be pretty easy. It was. So now I'm finally free to do whatever I want. So let's grant new world charters. Here it is, unfortunately I can't set colonizer yet, so let's colonize something cool there. So I think I'll colonize this province first and then we'll go to Cape. Also, it's conquer Mombasa, I don't even need my regular army, free company will be enough. So before I send peace, I want to get maps of Orn of Africa, let's do it. So I want to vassalize Mombasa because it has claims on these two countries and also it's at war with Kilwa, that means that I'll join it as defender. I think I forgot one little detail and it's that I don't have fleet. So I'll leave Kilwa for later. By the way, I have really high autonomy, so I think I should lower it. Oh yeah, my income just doubled. Oh, second idea group? Let's choose it. Uh, I have excessive military points, so I think I'll take college. So I propose to declare on Moravia. Now, the moment of truth. Cape is ours. I really hope that I can colonize a whole South Africa before Europeans arrive. Pick AI army composition. I finished this mission finally. Oh, and I finished this mission too. Oh, just perfect. So now I have such claims, just awesome. Let's start expanding. Good luck getting trade value from the Malukas. Good luck Europeans. Oh wow, it got hot. So I'll take just these two provinces and some money. Because I have claim on paid and also because this province opens possibility to conquer Horn of Africa and I just can't miss it. Now only Kilwa is left, unfortunately it killed half of my fleet. Really unfortunately, but I think I can piece it out just like this. Now I need to build some fleet and add there an Adel. It should be easy. 
I think I'm finally in a major league. Well, here they are. So now I'll finally have a bridge to my possessions in Horn of Africa. Let's do it. Warsangli is my ally, so I can just ask him for access. So now I have continuous empire. Well, almost. Also, I think I can finally move my trade capital to Zanzibar. It's one of the best trade nodes in the entire game. And also, yes, I've added uh, most of my provinces in Gulf of Aden in trade companies. I'll finally start annexing Mombasa. So, I've noticed that Mamluks broke Yemen alliance with Ethiopia, and I think it's the best moment to kill two birds, even three birds, with one stone. I don't want to get a lot of aggressive expansion, so I'll just enforce military access. Also, I propose to declare on those two nations so they don't join the coalition. I won't take any land, I don't need this poor Ethiopian trade node. There is Spain that decided to colonize near me for some reason, and uh, that's it. Where are the others? Okay, finally, third idea group. Maybe I'll take expansion ideas, I know that it isn't really a colonial game, but I have a lot of provinces to colonize, and maybe I'll even do it before European colonizers. I finally managed to steal South African coast from Spain. Now I want to at least start expansion in this direction. Although for this I need to conquer India, at least part of it. Because as you can see, trade either flows like this or like this. And I need my trade in Zanzibar. So I finally found some allies, not Ottomans of course, but I love Indians, they're pretty good too. Let's finally finish with Orn of Africa. I can ally Vijayanagar, let's do it. It seems like I've united the whole India against Bahmanis. My strat is pretty simple, first peace out my war, then Bahmanis, and then win the war. Turns out I could just ask for maps instead of hiring conquistadors. We are even now, I think. I'm testing my discipline right now. I'm interested to see if my space marine are truly space marines. And the answer is not really. So for some reason Bachman is broke their alliance with Mavar. I think it's because Malo declared on it, but I'm not sure. So I think it's perfect opportunity to declare on them. I've almost discovered Europe and I'm really curious to see what's going on there. I'm already a little scared. Remember guys, cannon fodder is everything, professionalism is just a number. Well, I thought it would be scarier. Aside from Ottoman South Italy, it's pretty average. I take my words back, this is definitely not the norm. By the way, Empire is for monarchies and I'm really curious what's the equivalent for tribes. Uh, turns out, steely maps may be useful sometimes. By the way, from now on, I can't afford to relax. I need to declare on every Indian nation that I don't have truth with or that isn't my ally. Because if I don't, they will join the coalition. Right now I need to declare on Malva, so it doesn't join the coalition. Well, I knew that it's going to happen, but I didn't know when. So right now I need to take a lot of loans, build a lot of heavy ships, so the Spain doesn't even try to land on my homeland. Then I'll just wait until Tekken War score gets to 25 and will maybe white peace. There is no rush, I can afford to fully occupy Malwa before pissing it out. Because as you can see, Spain landed one stack on Madagascar for some reason. They are not very active and my fleet helps me to calm them down. There is still one small little problem and it is that a really big coalition formed against me, including Mamluks. And because I'm at war with Spain, AI may think that it's their chance to declare on me. And they are far more difficult to deal with than Spain. I finally can send white peace. Of course, I couldn't take any money or any provinces, but it's still better than be at war against Spain and against Mamluks at the same time. Shame it didn't spawn in Zanzibar. A real shame. I was pretty close actually. Oh, the truce has ended, that means that I should declare on them ASAP. Okay guys, 5 seconds. Find what's wrong in this picture. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, it's Spain actually. I thought it was Vijayanagar, and I thought that Spain actually declared on me because of South Africa, not because of India. They literally have the same color. Well, finally I can ally Ataman, and that means that no coalition 
would ever declare on me. If Jayanagar wants to break my alliance, no worries, I have a new friend already, I'll even break it myself. So the problem with conquering India is that if I already started, then I can't stop even for a few years, because if I do, everyone will join the coalition. So the truth is Malo has ended, so let's declare on them. Let's check our absolutism. Well, not bad, not bad. Although I forgot one really important thing, and it's to spawn particularists, so I can lower autonomy. Well, technically I can still do it, but of course it would be better if I have done it before. Time to choose a fourth idea group. I think I'll choose offensive one for discipline, and also because I have excessive move points. Well, here it is, and yes, it did work, now I have more absolutism. I forgot to fabricate claim on Bahmanis. Not sure how it happened, but I can't declare on them. That means that now they'll join the coalition, and I may forget about them for a few decades. EU4 friendship is magic. So now I can have war with Bahmanis without declaring on them. This is what I call quality. Usually I go for centers of trade, but this time I want to isolate Bahmanis from the Bengal. So guys, let's do it. Uh, one second. It seems I forgot to fabricate claim once again. This was just a very stupid mistake. I think it was so stupid that it justifies safe scamming. What I've done just now is I've safe scammed until I've got noble agenda that gives me claims on provinces. Well, Bengal wants to break alliance with me. Not a problem, I'll conquer it too. Well, technically Bengal has more troops than me and it has more manpower, but just look at this. In theory, my Spanish Marines will crush it even without manpower. There is one problem that I didn't quite expect. Is that it's really difficult to find advisor with accepted culture and good bonus. So for example, I want to level up my discipline advisor to level 5, but I just can't. There are no discipline advisors with my culture. And yes, I do have money for him, I just don't have suitable advisor. It's going to be fun. Finally I can have some break, I have 6 years before next war. I think it's enough to recover my main power. So next idea group, I'll choose trade one, because first I have excessive diplomatic points, and second, of course I have enough of money, but I want to have even more. So you want to tell me that I can mop up India in one war? It's just the best deal that I've ever got. I want to make delete my vessel. First, it has a lot of cores. Second, I just can't pull an exit, unfortunately. So finally, I have conquered most of India. There are only Spain and Mughals left. Next idea group. I think it should be economic one. Of course, I don't need it, but it has policy for discipline, and it's really cool. So technically I can conquer Mughals even now if I want to, but I think just building manufacturers in every province is better. I love watching how the green number grows. Finally, my space marines are ready. Let's test them on Mughals. For now they are sieging fort for some reason, and I can't see their main army, so I'll need to wait. They finally got here, now let's test our space marine. It's going quite well, I think. Uh, well, not really well. Uh, yeah, not well at all, not well at all. Well, quantity wins, now let's just call in Ottomans. But well, kill death ratio is still pretty high, and also I almost won a battle where they had thrice the amount of troops I had. I've decided to test it one more time. Well, it's definitely better now. They have less manpower than me, so I think it counts as win. Third time the charm. Well, yeah, it was a really stupid idea. Now I don't have army. Let's peace out right now, then. I finally achieved pretty borders. Well, I think it's not bad, considering that I didn't even try to colonize Indonesia. If someone is interested in how my trade works, it works like this. I transfer from Malacca to Bengal, 
to Coromandel, to Gujarat, to Gulf of Aden, and to Zanzibar, I've turned it into EndNode. Of course it could have been even better, but for it to be even better I needed to either colonize Indonesia or conquer some European provinces, and I didn't want to do neither of these. And here is my manufacturing map. Uh, by the way, uh, most of the time I didn't build manufacturers, I built state houses. That's the con of Zulu, is that they don't have enough of gardening capacity. I hope you liked Zulu, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!